Hello everyone. Today we learn about the IPAC nomenclature of alkanes. Now before we start with the nomenclature, we should know something called as word roots. Now what are these word roots? Now suppose a compound is having Now suppose a compound is having one carbon in it. In that case, we will use a prefix called as myth. These are called as the word roots. So when we have two carbon atoms, we are going to use it. Now after this prefix, we are going to add the suffix of it. For example, for alkane, we are going to add ane. It will become ethane with myth methane and the process goes on so if we have one carbon atom it's going to be methane if we have two carbon atoms it's going to be ethane if it possess three carbon atoms it's going to be prop four but five pent six hex seven hept eight oct nine non ten deck eleven undeck twelve dodec 13 tridec 14 tetradec 15 pentadec 16 hexadec 17 heptadec 18 octadec 19 nonadec 20 is a cosa e i c o s it's pronounced as a cosa 21 is hen a cosa 22 do cosa 23 tricosa 30 it's tri account and then followed by the suffix a n e so tri account 10 31 hen tri account 32 do tri account 40 is tetra account 50 pent account and 100 is hectare now starting with the first compound now see I have represented a compound now I will be drawing the same thing with the help of bond lines now how to draw these bond lines now see I will represent this carbon with a dot the second carbon with another dot and this bond with this line so it forms a bond line structure like this then I will connect this one with this carbon this one with this one this carbon with the second carbon beside it followed by the next one the next one the upper one and the lower one so this is our bond line structure representing the above structure so from now onwards whenever I will be drawing any structure I will be using this type of bond line structures so let's start with the nomenclature process the first procedure is that we're going to use the longest chain with maximum number of substitutions I repeat longest chain with maximum number of substitution now if I consider this chain 1 2 3 4 5 6 after that you can switch on top or bottom it's up to you so this is the longest chain which I can take if I start from this end see 1 2 3 4 5 6 here I'm getting 7 I will be choosing the longest one so after choosing the longest one it's 7 that is hept we'll start with the substitutions now now see these substitutions are named as for example if you have methane if you have methane take out one hydrogen from here it will form CH3 dash now this species since it's deriving from methane it will be called methyl myth and ion here the prefix this is the prefix part myth is the prefix part since it's an alkane we're going to add any since it's a radical we're going to add yl so it's methyl radical ch3 ch3 it is ethane from this we get ch3 ch2 which is ethyl it and i okay now let's start the nomenclature of this part see if we start from this end 
this is called as the lowest locant rule we are proceeding to the next step that is lowest locant rule now what is the meaning of this word locant now see i have assigned certain values these points these values are actually called as these numbers are actually called as locants so we will start from that end where we get the least locant see if i start from this end the first substitution is coming at three if i start nomenclature from this end see the first nomenclature starts from two so we have to be careful where we get the least locant so here since we are getting the least locant i will start my nomenclature from this end One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. See from two points from the locate two, we are getting a single carbon. A single carbon is coming out. A single carbon means it's methyl. Moving to point five, at the locate five also we are getting another methyl. So five methyl. Now we will be fusing these two. We will write 2 comma 5 and since we have identical substitutions if a substitution comes more than once if it is coming twice we're going to use die if it is coming thrice we're going to use try four times it's coming tetra penta hexa and so on since methyl is coming twice we will write 2 comma 5 dimethyl and please be careful when you are writing this type of prefix where when you are adding this type of prefixes like di tri tetra and so on we will not use them for nomenclature we will use the m of methyl for nomenclature but we will not use the d of di as a nomenclature so uh, compound will be 2 comma 5 dimethyl heptane now when you are writing this ensure that there is no space in between you should not keep any space that's why we always use comma and hyphens use comma in between two numbers and in between a number and an alphabet or letter use hyphen don't keep any space in between we don't keep space in between the nomenclatures so this is 2 comma 5 dimethyl heptane moving to the next one whenever a compound will be given first of all try to find out the longest chain see 1 2 3 4 5 6 after that 7 8 or 7 8 so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 after finding out the since we don't have a functional group first of all we will be finding out the longest chain after finding out the longest chain you will try to find out the locant positions means the positions of the substitutions see here the first substitution is starting from one two three here also the first substitution from the right side is starting from one two and three so now the question arises: which one to give more priority means whether we will since we have a different substitution on left side we have methyl a single dash on right side we have two carbon that is ethyl so which one will be given priority now since methyl starts with m and ethyl starts with e we will give priority to ethyl because of the alphabetical pattern adipate if two alkyl groups are having identical locant from both the sides in that case the priority will be given according to the alphabetical order here e comes first so we'll be starting our nomenclature from the right side So on third position we have ethyl from left from the right side sixth position we have methyl and the root name is 8 that is octane we'll fuse this three 
थ्री इथाइल थ्री इथाइल थ्री इथाइल हाइफेन सिक्स मिथाइल ऑक्टेन थ्री इथाइल सिक्स मिथाइल एंड द बेसमेंट इज ऑक्टेन नाउ लेट्स ट्राई दिस वन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल द लॉन्गेस्ट ट्रेन वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट वी हैव गॉट आर लॉन्गेस्ट ट्रेन ऑक्ट आफ्टर गेटिंग द लॉन्गेस्ट ट्रेन find out the lowest locant now see here we have three substitution 1 2 3 if you have multiple substitutions like this we're going to use our third rule that is the least summation of locant now what is that now suppose you are starting from left side if we will add up the locant of all the substitutions means see this methyl is coming out from 3 this ethyl is coming out from 4 and this ethyl is coming out from 6 which makes 13 i repeat irrespective of the nature of the substitution you will just add the locants of the substitution if i start from this end 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 Eight. If I start from this end, see the first substitution is coming as three. Next one is coming at five. Next one is coming at six, which is making fourteen. So we will be using the previous one. That is, we'll start from the left side because see the summation value is the least over here. So. so let's start so 3 we are having methyl 4 and 6 we are having ethyl so 4 comma 6 di ethyl so we'll add up this three now remember i will not consider this d for nomenclature i will consider this e for nomenclature so the compound will become 4 comma 6 डाई इथाइल हाइफेन थ्री मिथाइल ऑफ टेन रिमेंबर डोंट कीप एनी स्पेस इन बिटवीन द लेटर्स एंड इन बिटवीन टू नंबर कीप कॉमा इन बिटवीन अ नंबर एंड अ लेटर गिव हाइफेन इफ यू लाइक माई वीडियो प्लीज लाइक शेयर एंड गिव यूर वैल्यूबल सजेशन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल थैंक यू